Welcome to GrowthToFreedom.com, the show that brings you inspiration, transformation, and leadership. We're helping you connect the dots, see the blind spots, and get unstuck so you can go out and generate more leads, more sales, more profits. More importantly, so you can go out and have a bigger reach, a bigger impact, and make a bigger contribution. Welcome to this segment of GrowthToFreedom.com, our celebration of 300 episodes, 30 years in business, and the important people that have helped me on this journey. And ideally, I want to bring the people who've helped me to help you. And so I want to ask you a question. Would it be worth if you could easily and almost effortlessly get to your dream 20 clients, your dream 50 your dream 100 clients. And what if you had a proven method, a proven process to be able to, in a cool, non-hypey, non-salesy way to develop relationships where not only you generated those clients, but you'd have them as advocates that would help to promote you to other clients. Well, if that'd be of interest to you, the guest expert that I'm going to introduce you today is able to show you how to do just that, how to get to your dream 20, 50, and 100 clients with far less effort, far less stress, and a lot less work on your side. And uh, he's someone I consider a friend. In fact, this celebration of 300 episodes uh, and 30 years of business was really a brainstorm between he and I Saturday morning, just literally a couple of weeks ago, where we said, what could we do to make this special? And he started sharing some ideas. And I was like, yes, let's do it. But guess what he did? See, what a great peer will do, a great coach will do, is they will challenge you not to just have an idea, right? You know that, like you need a new damn idea, like you need a hole in your head. What do you need? You need to go beyond ideas to implement. He challenged me there on the spot in that brainstorm and said, well, why don't you just reach out to them right now? You have their phone number, don't you? And literally, I started making text messages and voice messages and emails and sending these out. And he said, who else? And he wouldn't allow me to just stop. Originally, it was what, Jeremy? Uh, like <laughs> three, four or five people. He said, well, who else? And who else? And who else? And who else? And next thing you know, it was a list of like 15 to 16 to 17 people. And literally, almost everyone said yes, time permitting. And so uh, he's a friend. He's, to me, an advisor that I count on uh, when I want different perspectives and to be challenged, as well as someone who helps a lot of people get amazing, amazing results with a company called Rise25, him and his uh, uh, partner, co-founder, uh, John Corcoran, do amazing, amazing work. And uh, his name is Dr. Jeremy Weiss. Jeremy, how are you, man? Thanks for having me. You're yeah, when we were brainstorming, Dan, we're like, how can this be the best sessions of all time and it's like well why don't we why don't you have your most important people that have influenced you throughout your the decades of your career the amazing businesses you've started and you're like yeah and then you just started texting them and i don't know what the hesitation was because you were like I mean, I knew everyone would say yes. I knew that. I don't know why. <laughs> you told you, me that. You're like, they're all going to say yes. To yeah. You. Why would they not say yes? You, just, you said it almost just like that too. Yeah. Why would they not say yes? I mean, you're, you're basically saying I, you are the, one of the most important influential people in my career and, and your career is amazing. So the fact that someone had a hand in it and helped it is even more amazing. And yeah, and, and you could see like anyone who watches all of these episodes, which I encourage they do, I'm looking forward to watching them all um, and seeing what people say that uh, it's just a testament to you and your career and, and you as a human being. So thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. And I want to dive into you, right? Because you guys have this unique process through Rise 25 and what you do and who you are. I mean, literally, I don't know that. I mean, yeah, it's a business, but it's you. Like, this is you. Like, this process, this method of getting to your dream 20, 50, and 100 clients in an easy, cool, effortless way is just so amazing. So relationship capital for both of us, really important. It's a big part of your business model. Um, and just who you are. So like, what do you see are some of the biggest mistakes, Jeremy, that most people are making in their business right now to be able to get new clients or get to their, you know, dream 20, 50, 100 types? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing in my life and same with you, the number one thing in my life is relationships, whether it's health, whether it's business, it does not matter. You know, 
it leapfrogs everything, mentors, coaches, having relationships with amazing people. And what I always look at is how do I give to someone? How do I appreciate someone? Um, and that's it. And, and for me, as you know, like with what we do, we, I think podcasting is the best medium ever, but however you like to give to people, right? So I have found that having someone on my podcast is an amazing way to give to them, profile their thought leadership and everything else. But you were asking the number one mistake. Um, well, one, just think of what's in it for them, you know, so the mentality of like, if I'm thinking of Dan Cashel, I'm thinking, okay, what can I do? So like when this goes live, what can I do to give to Dan? Okay, well, I can share it on, on social media. I could put it out in a blog post. I can actually email it to people. I can text people, say, did you see this? Nothing about me, nothing about what I do, but what can I do? Like thinking from the other person's perspective, what are they looking for? Whether it's a client, exposure, you know, uh, whatever it is. So I think, I don't know if this is a mistake people make, but, you know, posting about themselves and what they're doing is fine, but thinking of, of other people, who should they be profiling even in a simple social media post, right? And, and you do this a lot, like, okay, like what if you just flex that muscle every week or day, what can am I doing today or this week to give to someone? Okay, I'm gonna choose one person this week and just who do I admire? What company do I admire? What service do I admire? And post something, on LinkedIn or post something on Facebook or put it out to an email and, and let them know like, Hey, like I'm pushing this out to, cause I really admire what you do. And so flexing that giving muscle every day. Um, and the other thing I think, Dan, I do think this is a big mistake is we're all, you know, we talk about the dream 50 dream 100. We're all going to the new and shiny. And here's the thing. We did this, right? You, we neglect our, our current relationships that are the most, the, the people are the biggest champions of us sometimes. And so like literally I'm holding up my phone if you're watching the video, you could go on your phone. So I mean, what I do is I at least have one hour a week minimum scheduled where I look at my phone, I scroll through my text message, I go, who haven't I texted in a while just to say hello to and to see what they're up to. And, and I guarantee if you do this, you'll say, oh my God, I haven't talked to this person in three months, four months, six months, a year, and just who are people in your network? Like you don't even need to go to anyone new, like a lot of times. And so I think the biggest mistake, and I, by the way, I am totally guilty of this. Like who else should I be talking to and meeting and, and hearing, like it's all on my phone already. Like the people are already there. So just, and what I do it, actually my phone is I set up these folders of people on my uh, on my home screen of people that I really respect, that I admire, that I want to make sure that I call up more often, so that when I go into my home screen and I go to that folder, it's right there. So I don't have to even search in a text message or when's the last time I called this person. So, and as you're watching or listening right now, like what would it be worth if you could be in a place where you looked at it and said, who? Could I, meaning you, who could you profile in a post on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram? Uh, instead of the shiny new object, what relationships could you rekindle or be kindling or be doing both at the same exact time to show appreciation and doing a give to them, right? And checking in with them and what is important to them. Now, you know, Jeremy, as we look at like strategy, part of the theme of this segment, as you know, is, you know, we're one breakthrough away from that next big breakthrough, right? And, you know, getting to your dream 100, of course, in and of itself is a one breakthrough away kind of strategy. But what would be one to three strategy? I mean, you work, you guys work with so many different clients in so many different industries who use this method of relationship capital and relationship building to get to their dream 20, 50 and 100 far easier than ever before. Like what are one to three strategies that you, you know, could recommend, if you will, that could be one of those that would be that one breakthrough away thing? Yeah. I mean, 
I'm not going to do a self-serving one, which is, I think I, even before we had a service, by the way, the podcasting day, I joke around, I go, I told every business you should have a podcast yes, hands you down. Know. You know, you've been in doing radio since how long? I mean, I don't want to yeah. date you, but like yeah. you've been doing radio. 2002. Yeah. 2002. Yeah. I mean, you've had some of the most amazing, you've had Tia Harvecker, you've had Brian Tracy, you've had like so many people uh, on your radio and giving to them, but Find some method to give, like on a regular basis, whatever it is for you. Some people it's writing a blog post. Some people it's podcasting. Some people it's doing a video. Some regular, because for me, it's a, um, not just doing it once in a while. It's, I need to set up a system where I could do it every single week, multiple times a week and make sure to give to people. And John Rulin is also a genius at this too, from get, you know giving gifts. So he sets up, regular gifts like that's his thing like he's giftology and so whatever your method is to give to people do it like set something up so you're doing it regularly the other thing is dan and i talked about in the very beginning is mentors and coaches like if i could say anything like the number one thing in my life is find you know with relationships is finding a mentor or coach who's doing what you do who is already done what you want. And, and not only that, but like when I look at you and I consider you a mentor and I consider Brian Kurtz a mentor and it's people who I just not just respect, you know, what you've done in business, but I respect how you, you know, treat people. I respect how you, you know, family's a priority and all those other things in your life, not just about one as you know, one specific aspect um, so that, that's it. I mean, it's really, what has allowed me in general, any part of my life to leapfrog something is to find a coach or a mentor. Um, and, and that's it, you know, they're going to see things that you don't see. They're going to see pitfalls. You don't, see, you know, I'm um, preaching to the choir, but that is really the number one thing. When I think of my life is if I'm trying to do something, who do I need to mentor or coach me? And, and it's like, let's say people are like, well, that's expensive. Let's say it, it's not the lost time and the lost money of doing it the wrong way for many times is way more expensive. I, <laughs> I've, I've been there, you know, so. I mean, that's, I mean, that's so brilliant. And, you know, if you want to save time, but most importantly, you know, uh, the most expensive in I think it's a Gary Helbert quote, which is the most expensive information is bad information, Right. The most expensive mentor is a bad mentor, meaning mm -hmm. no mentor. That's the most expensive. So, you know, going at it on your own, trying to figure it out when you could save the time, you could save the money, you could save the mistakes and all those sorts of things. So uh, speaking of that, I want to help you eliminate some of the mistakes. Like if you want an easier way to get to your dream 25, your dream 50, your dream 100, right? And use a vehicle. Like if you thought to yourself, well, what could I do to create a vehicle called a podcast, perhaps, and leverage these strategies, but it goes way beyond the podcast. It's more of the psychology, right? Truth be told, I've worked with multiple services in podcasting, and I switched services to Jeremy and John's, which is a premium service because they deliver a premium result, a premium experience, a premium uh, model, a premium system, like a system. It's not just a podcast. Like if you just look for a podcast, there's plenty of people who can help you publish it and all those sorts. But if you're looking for a platform to get to your dream 20, dream 50, dream 100, and have a operating system to do it, that's what they provide and so incredibly valuable. So if people want to connect with you, Jeremy, you and John, Rice25, where can they go? Where can they learn more about you? I mean, you have so many resources. I mean, here's some other thing I want to share before he does this. Uh, not to cut you off. Sorry. I ask a question. I pull it back. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, playing hard to get here. Um, here's the thing. Jeremy is a doctor and he has a clinic in Chicago. He is, uh, runs a nutrition company. Uh, he runs multiple companies and he runs Rise 25. Like he is one of the most strategic um, people I know as far as implementation, right? So if you want to ease up the pain of implementation, especially as it relates to getting clients, especially your dream 20, 50, 100, just going through the process that they do 
in the beginning as an introduction to open the door to like the possibilities and help you see the blind spots. Like, why do I call on Jeremy and John? It's beyond the podcast. It's about the business side of it, the, the operating system of which they built. It just happens to be today, the vehicle of pop, but in two years, it could be something else. But their operating system is the key. You want that operating I, I assure you. So if people want to learn more about you, uh, where can they go? Yeah. Where can they yeah, I'll say that um, first, I want everyone to get results. And Dan is all about that. So I challenge you now, after you hear this, just look in your phone, text one person that you may have texted in a while, maybe you have, and just tell them you admire them and appreciate them or, or whatever it is. So just do one reach out for me. That's all I ask. And then you can go to my podcast, inspiredinsider.com. Um, I have amazing episodes. You can check out the one with Dan Cashel. It was fantastic. And um, rise25.com is the company. And we have a contact page. So you have questions about podcasting, you can email us. So I encourage you. I encourage you, go check out what Jeremy has put together and what ha he has available and has for years and years and years. This isn't just something that they started like a week ago or a month ago or even a year ago. This is something they're experts at for you know five plus years, relationship building, relationship capital. You can go to rise25.com. All the links and the you know, re resources will be in the show notes as well. You can come back to this segment, growththefreedom.com forward slash 300 for the overall series. You never want to miss an episode. Go to growththefreedom.com forward slash subscribe. Go to rise25.com. Go check out inspiredinsider.com. And I encourage you, take action with the challenge that Jeremy shared with you. What is that challenge? Just, just text. Take one, your phone, one, one, one person, and just say, pick it up. Right now, totally respect up. you. I admire you. I don't tell that. I don't tell you enough that I think that. And just have a great weekend. That's it. And watch what happens. And when you do it with one and you see how easy it is and also the great response you'll usually get, then I challenge you to go to a second, a third, and a fourth. And what if you did this 10 times a week for the next 30 days, right? 10 a week. So like, what is that? Five days in a week, that's two a day. Is that reasonable? Could you fit that in? Could you, even as busy as you might be, could you do that two times a day for five days a week for four weeks and see what happens? And then report back to Jeremy and I and let us know how it impacted you, right? Both from the response that you get and the love that you'll get, as well as the potential opportunities that spring out of it. Don't be surprised uh, because it will transform. That simple idea will transform the way you think about building a business, especially as it relates to relationship. Go to rise25.com if you want more. Go to inspiredinsider.com. Literally see almost a thousand episodes I think they have now. Um, and a lot more. Now, what's something I should have asked you, Jeremy, that we didn't get a chance to cover? I mean, you and I always talk about mentors and books that we love. Um, and so I think that's it. I mean, I think I, I would, I would say, I'm always curious of what people are reading and listening to, but also who people are following. So, you know, that's it. I think, you know, like I was mentioning, I really respect the work you do. People should check out exactly what you do in your podcast, Brian Kurtz, John Corcoran, my business partner, and then also some amazing books because, you know, there is all, not just mentorship, you need to know them, but, but people write books and that's like a distant mentor. People have courses, like you don't need to know them. Like the Tony Robbins, like I learned so much. I don't know Tony Robbins personally. And I know, you know, Dan, the events you put on with Genius Network, um, and he's actually spoken at those events and everything like that. But I don't need to know them. I could go get their books. So there's, you know, I love certain books. Uh, Chris Voss is an amazing book um, of Never Split the Difference, um, Made to Stick, um, Tell to Win. The, the books about relationships and about stories. I mentioned John Rulin's Giftology. I love the books about stories and about relationships. So. so I encourage you, go check out those. All the links will be in the resources below. Again, you can come back to this episode, this full series, growththefreedom.com forward slash 300. Jeremy, brother, thank you, man. Thank you for you so allowing me. To be able to share. And uh, I want to bring you back on for a longer full episode. If you'd like Jeremy to come on for a full episode to go more into some of this, Dre, would you like that? If you would. Send me a thumbs up, send me an email, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up somewhere or my team, 
uh, as well. And let us know. Uh, Jeremy's like a secret weapon. Like, could you use a secret weapon on your, your team and in your corner? Well, guess what? They have a powerful tool with this relationship capital model that happens to be packaged to be able to get to Dream 2050 100 using a podcast method. Today, there's other things they're working on as well that you just might love, but you'll never know unless you reach out. So do reach out. And uh, I encourage you to take action with what he shared with you. Text one person, ideally after you get some response, start challenging yourself two a day, two a day. Just build a habit, build a good muscle here, right? And uh, seize the day, take action. And by all means, make it a great week. Make it a great week. We'll see you next time on another session of growththefreedom.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to this episode of growththefreedom.com. Are you struggling to get a steady flow of new clients every day or maybe hit a plateau or hit a wall in growing your business? Well, let's help you solve this problem today. Let's review your business and have a conversation. You can do that for free today at BreakthroughStrategyCall.com. That's BreakthroughStrategyCall.com. In addition, if you're looking for a simple way to implement some of what we've been talking about in today's episode, then I want to encourage you to get our free small business toolkit. You can get that at activate.breakthrough3x.com. That's activate.breakthrough3x.com. If you'd like access to the special resources and all the show notes for this special episode, make sure to visit growthtofreedom.com.